Welcome to the first Trinket Golem tutorial video. This is the first of a series of instructional craft videos designed to make home crafts accessible and fun for every skill level. Today, I'll show you how to make a floral hair clip. I made this clip initially to complete a Renaissance Fair costume, but it's also a fun piece to dress up any everyday outfit. This is also an excellent craft for beginners and can be a great way to learn or practice some of the fundamentals of home crafts. This project is very simple. We're just going to separate the petals and leaves from a craft store flower and hot glue them onto a hair clip. Feel free to skip around using the chapters below or follow along for all of my pro tips. First, take a pair of craft scissors and cut some of the flowers and leaves off of your flower. You can get a flower like this one for a few dollars at any craft store, such as Joann's or Michael's, and you can use any pair of scissors you have available. These flowers have wire in the stem though, so I recommend not using fabric scissors, as the wire can dent your scissor blades. The leaves on these fake flowers tend to be very consistent, so you just need to focus on getting enough of them. The flowers themselves, however, tend to vary in size, color, and quality. Look for flowers with the colors and sizes you want, and avoid bent petals. Although bent petals can be reshaped with heat or pressure, you should have enough options to avoid doing so. Also make sure that you leave a tiny bit of stem on the flowers when you cut them. You'll need that later for the gluing stage. Next, pick out your favorite flowers and leaves and arrange them on the clip. Determine a clear vision of what you're going to create before gluing anything. I recommend putting down a base layer of leaves and setting the flowers on top. This will add a subtle layer of dimension and help with the illusion that your hair is being held back by flowers, not a hair clip. If you're using a banana clip like I am, then I also recommend putting your largest flower on the side with the clasp, so the overhang of the flower will hide it a bit. I do not recommend planning to glue anything to the clasp itself. This floral hair clip is useless, after all, if it can't function as a hair clip, and it's deceptively easy to disrupt a mechanism like this. Next, sand the hair clip everywhere that you plan to attach leaves or flowers. This step is optional, but it will make the glue adhere much better. If you sand first, the flowers will stay forever, and if you don't sand first, they'll come off in a couple of days. Sanding makes it durable. I'm using a well-used high grit sandpaper. Grit refers to how coarse a piece of sandpaper is, high grit meaning that it's relatively fine. And since sandpaper wears out over time, this piece of well-used high grit sandpaper is very gentle. We only want to remove the tiniest layer of plastic, just the polish on the surface, so you don't need anything super abrasive. If you don't have access to sandpaper or a sanding block, you can also use a nail file. You'll know you're done sanding when the surface of the clip is no longer shiny. Make sure to only sand parts of the clip that will be covered up later. I also recommend wiping off the dust before you move on to the glue stage, so that you can be sure that the glue sticks to the hair clip and not to the hair clip dust. It's finally time to glue. Go ahead and plug in your hot glue gun and wait until it's ready. I'm using a mini hot glue gun for this project for two reasons. One, plastic materials adhere extremely well to hot glue, so low temp hot glue, which is the only setting for mini hot glue guns like this one, will do the trick. And two, this is somewhat delicate work, so a mini nozzle will make it easier to hide the glue. Once your glue is ready, start the base layer by defining the edges. Attaching the leaves on the very edges of the sanded portion will both make sure that the most visible part of the leaves looks nice and that you cover up all of the unpolished, sanded section. Once the edges are placed, fill in the space between them. After the glue has cooled, repeat the process with the flowers. When gluing edge pieces, I prefer to put the glue on the clip first. This makes it easy to make sure you attach your leaf or flower in exactly the right spot. When filling in the middle, I instead prefer to put the glue on the leaf or flower first. This makes it easier to put the glue on the best part of the leaf or flower. Make sure that the glue only touches parts of the flowers that are already stiff. For the leaves, that's the vein down the middle, and for the flowers, that's the little bit of stem in the back. If you have hot glue on the edges of the leaves or on the petals, it'll look pinched and artificial. As always with hot glue projects, the last step is to pull off all the random little hot glue strands. And after that, you're done! Excellent work! Thanks for watching, and I hope this video was useful and or interesting to you. 
check out my Etsy store and other videos like this one for more trinkets, and if you have any questions or ideas for other crafts, leave a message in the comments. I don't have a cool outro line yet, so I'll just say this. Toodles! <laughs>